Welcome to Feasting on Agriculture. I'm Kristen Oaks White, and today we're in Richland Parish to celebrate National Rice Month. Louisiana is the third largest rice producing state in the country, and today we're going to show you how that versatile grain goes from the field to your dinner plate. Feasting on Agriculture is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Think rice. When I get rice up about six or eight inches tall and I can turn the water on and I've got a clean field of rice and I've just fertilized it, there's nothing in my opinion more that I like to look at more on a farm than rice about 10 to 12 inches tall that doesn't have any weeds or grass in it and it's pretty and green because you keep the water on it. And uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful crop to grow, uh, it really is. It's just, it just looks good. It makes you feel good when you look at it. I've been growing rice a long time. Uh, this is my 45th rice crop. And rice has always been, it's always been a consistent crop. Out of the 45 crops of rice we've done, I'm gonna say 42 to 43 of them were cut with the rice down. Uh, and generally speaking, if you don't have some down rice, your rice yields are not gonna be really good. But today is our first day of rice harvest. And if the rice was standing, we could probably cut 150 acres a day with two machines. and. Uh, with it down like it is, you know, it'd be a chore to probably cut 60 to 70 acres. How was the crop so far, what you've cut? Well, it's, it's yielding really good. Uh, it's, it's about what we thought it would be. It's, we got this planted pretty early this year and it's, it's looked good all year and, and it's been a relatively easy crop. I'm Scott Franklin. I'm a rice farmer and merchant and owner of Holly Ridge Rice and Grain Terminal, which is a commercial rice dryer and marketing office. Timing is a big th thing with a, a clean rice crop, and we've learned how to timely manage residual herbicides that we use in our row rice programs now. And it's really made rice farming way easier than it was 40 years ago, I'll put it that way. We take in green rice from the field, the farmer harvests the rice, and our responsibility here is to dry the rice for the farmer, and then, of course, market it and hope to get them the best price that we can get them, uh, and then sell it to a, hopefully a local mill here in Louisiana, which will then be milled and goes to the grocery store and then gets on your plate. I do budgets every spring, and you know, it, it, back in January and February when I was doing all the crop budgets, and I share those budgets with growers or lenders or whoever, but cotton and rice were the two best looking crops on budget. The rice that we're harvesting, uh, we forward contracted that rice. We got a really good price on the rice, and uh, the only thing I'm regretting is we didn't plant more of it. We're looking for 70% actual white rice, okay, out of out of this, this rough state. We will to generate 70% of white rice. I love growing rice. It's a it's a it's a beautiful crop to grow. Uh, it's a, it's a consistent crop forest and uh, now we've yeah we've seen years that prices were not good, but Seven out of 10 years, rice prices are pretty good. The rice that we're harvesting now, uh, it'll be on the, the shelves at the grocery store in a few months, and uh, it's, it's a neat crop, really is. When we come back, we're gonna head south to meet up with Chef Jason Lees of Rue 61, where he's gonna cook up one of my favorite rice dishes. Stay with us.
continue our celebration of National Rice Month with a rice dish from one of my favorite chefs, Jason Lees. Well, thank you very much for that warm introduction, Kristen. Uh, today, we're gonna do a Louisiana dirty rice, and we're gonna top that dirty rice with uh, blackened catfish, along with a Creole mustard cream sauce. Okay, so let's get started. Tell me what's the first thing that we need to do. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get this ground sirloin right here. Okay. Sear it off. And we're not gonna do anything with that brick of beef. We're just gonna let it get nice and caramelized on the bottom. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna get on with our roux. So a roux is just equal parts oil, equal parts flour. And today we're gonna be making a dark roux. Okay. I don't baby it. I, I go ahead and, and pump the heat up and stir. Stir, stir, and stir. stir. And stir, and stir, and stir. So uh, dark roux for me takes about 10 to 15 minutes. If you would, hand me those onions, bell peppers, celery, and garlic. Okay. Your holy trinity. Yep. And if you want to hand me that uh, Abita Amber, another Louisiana product we're using today. So we're going to add just a little bit of a time. Going to want to get this nice and emulsified. If not, it'll separate. So this just gives it a different distinctive flavor? Yep. Got that in there, and there's some chicken stock behind you right there. And basically, what we're doing right now is we're making a gravy so that rice can soak up all, the... all of that flavor. All right, we got our gravy done here. You can just eat it like that. Yep, and uh, we're going to go back to our ground sirloin here. I'm going to get every bit of that beef flavor okay. into our gravy. Looking good. And that's it. So right now we're gonna add our Louisiana jasmine rice. And this is where we're gonna get that uh, nice, traditional color of our dirty rice. Okay, we've got that nice and incorporated in. You would hand me the green onions. All right, dirty rice is done. All right, so right now we're gonna uh, season our catfish with this blackening seasoning. Grab that tail side. Slide that in. Show side first. Show side first. Get a nice crust on there, then we'll flip it over. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our uh, Creole mustard cream sauce. Heavy right cream. Right here is a little heavy cream. And we have some Creole mustard. And I like to get these bubbles to about the size of a quarter or just a little bit less. That lets me know when it's ready. All right, we're going to add a couple little pads of cold butter. Everything you touch turns to gold, man. Ah, and now it's time to place. Well, you did it. You made a believer out of me because this is awesome dirty rice. Jason, thank you so much for welcoming us into your home and cooking this amazing dish for us. If you want to learn more about Rue 61 or this recipe or Louisiana rice, follow the link to our website at twilatv.org. Until next time, we'll see you on Feasting on Agriculture. Feasting on Agriculture was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef, It's What's for Dinner, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice.